Let's go, Grism. Lester Grissom, your appeal is denied for the crime of murder. Grissom, please! Grissom, I'm sorry. Uh, I did the best I could. You did just fine. Just like I figured. We're gonna do it, huh, Les? Yeah, Dixie. We're gonna do it. Just like I planned.
Honey, you're going to be late. It's a quarter after. I can't find my socks. They're in the box, Mark Bureau. The, you, you're not even dressed yet. I told you my sister's coming today, so I'm taking a sick day. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I'll take the day off, too. Oh, why don't you? Her flight's not coming in for a couple of hours. Maybe we could go back to bed? Hmm. I would love to. But today's the day I'm hitting Roberts up for that raise. Why don't you wait until tomorrow when I can soften him up? No. Can't have you fighting all my battles at work for me. Hey, I just figured that since I work for him, that maybe I could make him feel guilty. No, I'm gonna fight this one on my own. And besides, I, uh, I have this mortgage to pay off and everything. <laughs> you mean we have this mortgage? Oh, right, we. Well, since uh, one of the two of us is gonna be a slacker, <laughs> hang out with her sister all day, someone's gotta pay the bills. <laughs> Goodbye. Do you think we're gonna turn into a bickering old couple like the people we bought the house from? You know, I don't mind, as long as we turn into a bickering old couple together. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I wonder if we're gonna be as happy as we are now, you know, when we're older. Oh, what? You mean like when we're in our golden years? Yeah, in our golden years. So long as you are by my side, I'll be one happy old fart. <laughs> you know, you just say some of the most romantic things sometimes. Mm. <laughs> So, your sister excited about being your maid of honor? Yeah. I think she's more nervous than I am. Oh. So now you're nervous about marrying me? I'm nervous about the wedding, not about marrying you. Hey, you just say the word. We'll skip this whole formal wedding thing. We could always go see a justice of the peace, maybe fly to Vegas. No way. You're not getting out of it that easy. Can't blame a guy for trying. See you later. Be home as soon as I can. It really means something, doesn't it? it certainly does. This whole building sealed. No one in, no one out. Mr. Sir, over here. What a mess. What do we got? Uh, three escaped cons on a whole lot of dead corpses. A key and a handgun taped underneath the bench in the holding room. They just blasted the way out of here. Carjacked an old lady right in front of the courthouse. Yeah, so you got a tail on them. What? You kidding me? Took everyone by surprise. Just vanished in the thin air. We have an all points out on the vehicle. Okay. Well, give me all the files on these guys and uh, check out the next kid. Somebody may get a phone call. Done. Who are these bastards anyway? Sabbath, Sonny, serving life in a 20 for murder and rape. Uh, Dexter, Clarence, doing two lives for double homicide. And Grissom. Buster Grissom? Yeah. Rap sheet goes back since he was 15, you know him? Oh, yeah. I put him away four years ago. Multiple homicide and armed robbery. That's the guy. Oh, yeah. That's the guy. Les, what are we doing walking out here in the white open? That car is hotter than a $2 pistol by now, stupid. Well, then, where the hell are we going? Tell you when we get there. Damn it, Les, I just don't think this is a good idea. I'm doing the thinking here, okay? Anybody who doesn't like it can forfeit their share. <laughs> Who are you laughing at? You. Fuck you. Hey, hey, oh, you hey, want to hey, play? Hey, you want to play? I don't want to play. I want to play. I want to play. play. Not too much further. Stupid shits. 
Stay away from me. I told him it was ridiculous, but he insisted on requesting an appeal. They all do, you know? So, naturally, it was denied. I said, I did my best. That's the last I saw of him. So you're gonna tell us you knew nothing about the gun and the key underneath the bench in the holding room? I'm a public defender. Why, why would I want to help those schmucks? Did he ask you to deliver any messages? Uh, you know, to friends or relatives? No. I got the impression that he was in touch with his girlfriend, Wendy or Wanda or somebody. There must be records. Did he say anything like people he wanted to kill, people he hated? <laughs> you want to teach your boy here about attorney-client privileges, Lieutenant? Asshole. I don't give a shit about attorney-client privileges. And you're not going to either as long as you got my foot up your ass. Do you realize what you're doing, Lieutenant? Yeah, oh yeah. You ever been de-lost in the county lockup? Because I'm gonna bust you as an accessory if you don't tell me what the fuck I want to hear. Oh, I love it. Remember now, we just moved in. It's great. It's a mess. I need so much work. Getting married. Buying a house. Ooh, just like mom and dad. <laughs> it's true. That's a scary thought. So, are you still seeing the surgeon? Adam? Uh, no. That was like three boyfriends ago. So, when do I get to meet the sucker? His name is Stuart. We'll meet him soon enough. Can't wait. <sighs> Hello? Hey, baby, your sister make it in all right? Yeah, we just got home. Great, I was thinking, how about we all go out to Ronaldo's for dinner tonight? Uh, how does Italian sound for dinner? Whatever, but I don't eat meat. Since when? Sure, Ronaldo's is fine. Listen, I gotta go, someone's at the door. Okay, all right. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Excuse me, but my car broke down. May I use the telephone, please? Kelly! Hey, who are you? What is going on here? Keep your trap shut, little lady. What are you? Somebody gets hurt. Hey! <laughs> We're just gonna make ourselves comfortable until your boyfriend gets home. Who are these guys? Oh, we're just friends of old Stewie boys. Or whatever he's calling himself these days. What do you mean by that? When I know him, he called himself Hank. The son of a bitch set me up. Now sit down! Oh. Nice new rush. Dexter, see if they get some beer. And tequila. Ain't nobody gonna deny me a drink after all these years. So, when does Loverboy come home? Soon. <laughs> Woo! Hey, kitchen's loaded. Fancy ass form beer and everything. Any booze? Only a goddamn cabinet full. Be going crazy on me, Sabbat. I don't need you sloppy. <sighs> it's been a long time since we've been around pretty ladies like you. I told you to take it easy on that shit! <laughs> Don't bust my nuts.
Keep your hands hey, off her. Hey, oh, hey, hey, stop hey, it! Hey, how much does time for that later? Right now, we stick to the plan. Bobby Fondo over here, I did the photo. Then they just walked out of here. They, um, make the call? Yeah, one. Long distance. The girlfriend? Probably. We're checking on it. Well, let's find her. She gonna tell me what we're up against here? Well, you read the rap sheet. Yeah? Well, you busted the guy. Grissom's the worst kind. No remorse. Ever. Just bad luck. What's the matter, boy? Cat got your tongue? What the fuck do you want? What I want is four years of payback. <laughs> You're doing nice. You're doing real nice. <laughs> Leave him out of it, Lester. You're beast with me. We'll see about that. All depends on how you help me out with the little favor tomorrow. <laughs> we found her, Winnie Monroe. She lives in Copperville. She was Grissom's main squeeze up till his arrest. Okay. She was busted for possession of crack cocaine, served three months. Other than that, her record's clean. Well, have the Copperfield boys check out her residence. I don't know the three of them are armed and dangerous. Approach with caution. Done. Think she's the one that planted the gun and the key? Well, someone sure as hell did. If not her, I got someone else I want to check out. We cut a deal with one of Grissom's pals. Got him to testify in exchange for the immunity in the witness protection program. What was his name? Sims. Hank Sims. Nine forty-two Pine Street. I got it, baby. You're doing good, sweet case. Can I come tonight? I miss you, baby. I need you. I need you too, darling. But we gotta stick to the plan. But look, I just sit tight. We'll be together soon enough. One more night's not gonna kill us. I don't know if I can wait one more night. Now you listen to me, sweet cakes. You stay off the shit. You hear me? I'm off the shit. I'm clean. I'll make sure you stay that way. We don't want to blow it now. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. Tomorrow night. I told you to take it easy on that stuff. You and me, we're gonna take a little trip in the morning. Where? Oh, your office. What surprises me is why anyone would hire a felon like you. Oh, but that's right. You were never convicted. See, your boy here made a deal. He sank state's evidence against me for his freedom. And I was fool enough to think we were partners. No, no, no. We were never partners. You took the job, didn't you? How the hell did you find me? 
<laughs> you didn't really think that the witness protection program could keep you hidden from me, did you? Are you that stupid? Huh? Stewie? Stewie the Stooley? Are you that stupid? Huh? See, your boy here is quite a safe cracker in his day. Smart, too. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Is that true, Stu? Oh, yeah. See, I recruited your boy here for a little heist. See, Nick Vento ran all the games in town. Gambling, drugs, prostitution. Grissom, I got a funny feeling about this. What's the matter? You don't trust me? All right, Joey. You keep a lookout. thief I ever worked with. He's no altar boy, oh, no man. Did you tell her about that big titty and Mexican cocktail waitress you were banging back then? What was her name? Rowena. <laughs> Does she know about her? <laughs> oh, there's plenty you don't know about Stewie the Stewie here. What'd he tell you? You went to college or something like that? <laughs> 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 Stu. <laughs> oh yeah. See, little lady, we moved on upstairs. Down to business. identifying any of us, do you? I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. Now you get to work or you're next. here was real good at all that electronic bullshit. Cracking codes and hacking. 
We're gonna utilize some of that talent come tomorrow morning. Forget it. You're gonna do what I tell you to. Otherwise, these girls are gonna bleed all over these new hardwood floors. Now, I'm getting a little hungry. What you say we go in the kitchen and fix us up some grub? Huh? Yes, Agent Pierce. Pierce, Kincaid here. Lieutenant Kincaid, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. Say, they still let you carry bands? Well, somebody's got to bust the bad guys, huh? So why are you calling me for? Remember Lester Grissom? Oh, yeah, her. Well, I need to uh, run a check on Hank Sims. Uh, I need to get his new ID. Remember him, state's witness? Now, you know, once the witness enters the protection program are not allowed to disclose any information about his identity or his whereabouts. He should have known better than to even ask for that. Yeah, but we have reason to believe this guy may be in danger. Federal policy, I'd really like to help you, but... Well, can't you at least check him out? We're not supposed to even bother these people. Besides that, the chances of anybody discovering his whereabouts are very slim. Listen, shit for brains, you know Grissom. Sims may be a sitting duck, or he may have had something to do with the escape. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll check it out, okay? Uh, well, I'm sorry to bother you, Pierce. But it is good to see all this cooperation between law enforcement agencies. Got word from Copperville. Yeah. Girlfriend's cleared out of her apartment. No forwarding. The neighbors say she's been gone for a couple of days. Well, I figures. I want her found. Sugar, why don't you come over here and give me some dessert? I'd rather die. Dead or alive makes no difference to me. Lester, you better keep your boys in line. Who you call him, boy? Put that down. <laughs> I mean it, Lester. Anything happens to them. Don't worry, lover boy. They can be real fine gentlemen when they want to be. That's right. I can be real gentle when I want to be. I'll kill you, Lester. I swear to God, if anything happens to either one of them. <laughs> We're not here for you women, Stooley. After our little business tomorrow, we're gonna get all the snacks we can shake our sticks at, right, boy? <laughs> you got that right, Grissom. <laughs> Hey, 
Who are you expecting? Nobody. Come on. Come on. Duncan? Stuart Duncan? Yes. Remember me? Special Agent Pierce, FBI. Listen, can I come in for a minute? <clears throat> well, actually... Just a minute of your time. See, the thing is, my fiancé is here, and she doesn't know about the... You know... No, I understand, but like I said, though, I just need a minute of your time, so maybe we could go someplace private. Yeah, she's in the kitchen. What's up? I don't know if you've heard yet, but, uh, Lester Grissom escaped from the county courthouse today. The authorities there requested me to come and check on her. I thought I was safe. No, no, you can relax. You're safe. It's just a precautionary formality. By the way, you haven't been to L.A. recently, have you? Why? I know you can verify that, right? You don't think I have anything to do with this? Listen, Mr. Duncan, it's like I told you. This is just a formality. I haven't been in L.A. since the trial. Okay. So, uh, look. You know, if you, uh, see anything, you hear anything... Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to call. Okay, I appreciate it. And I'm sorry I had to bother you with all this. It's okay. It's just, uh, just a precaution. I'm sure it's safe. Do you understand? Yeah. Thanks. You did real good, lover boy. A couple of uniforms picked her up on a routine crack house raid. She used an alias, but when they ran her prints, bingo. Did you say anything yet? The boy saved her for you. You better get some coffee. from him. Nope. I just thought maybe uh, he missed you and gave you a call. But then maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he doesn't give a shit about you. Look, I know what you're trying to do, man. So just quit the shit, all right? You don't know Lester. Who loves me? Do you love him? Because if you do, you'll tell me where he is before he gets hurt. Ain't nobody can hurt my luster. (laughs) 
Well, Hank, you really turned yourself into a respectable, upstanding citizen, didn't you? You should try yourself sometime. Oh, don't worry about me. After tomorrow, I'll be plenty respectable. Yeah, how do you plan to do that? With your help. See, I've been keeping tabs on you. It wasn't as hard as you might think, finding out where you were and what you've been up to. Must have had some help. Let's just say I got some friends. Well, then I guess I have some enemies. Nothing personal. Purely business. It's just that you working at a big corporate bank and all made you a likely candidate. That's all. I'm just a glorified clerk, Grissom. They don't let me get near any cash. That's not what I heard. My information tells me that you're in charge of wire transaction security. Guess all that computer mumbo-jumbo paid off, huh? <laughs> Your information's wrong, Grissom. Well, it better not be. For your lady's sake. See, I figure we waltz into those fancy-ass offices of yours and play a little tune on that computer keyboard. Something to the melody of ten million dollars. You're nuts. Nuts to not have thought of it before, yeah. Then again, I never had a friend in banking security. With the help of your security codes, I figured we'd just wire some money to an offshore account. <laughs> never work. Takes weeks to open an offshore account. Oh, don't worry about that. It's all taken care of. Sounds like you put a lot of planning into this. Let's just say I've had a lot of spare time to think about it, thanks to you. All right, let me get this straight. I pull off this little wire job for you, and you leave us be. Nobody gets hurt. Scout's honor. What's up, Joy? Take the money and get the fuck out of here. 
You are in no position to tell me what to do. Now, get on your knees. I'm not gonna cut the bullshit. I said get on your knees. Grissom, please. No, 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 no. Come on, Grissom. You should have stayed home tonight, Nicky boy. Listen to me, let's get out of here. Change places with Sabbath. Get some sleep. You better get some rest, too. We're gonna need you bright eyed and bushy tailed come morning. It just doesn't figure. The alibi is airtight. I checked him and the alibi personally. Not a thing is out of place. Well, just give me the guy's new address. Let me put a man out there. No can do. Regulations. Always by the book up here. What do you want me to do? It's called upholding the law. You should try it sometime. <laughs> I'll take it under consideration. No, she's no goddamn help. But I know she knows something. What are we gonna do with her? We're gonna let her go. What? You heard me. We're gonna set her free. And let her lead us right to Grissom. All right, I'll get Phillips and Jabrowski on. No, 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 no. I want you. I don't want any screw-ups. Please just don't do anything foolish. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Kelly, I am so sorry about all of this. I'm so sorry that I lied to you. I just never expected my past would come back to haunt me. Yeah, well, I feel like I don't know you anymore. No, you know me. I am still the same person. I still love you. Let's go, Romeo. It's showtime. You know, no matter how much cologne you put on, it still won't get rid of your stink. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. You know, she's right, Grissom. You will never be anything but a stupid, two-bit thief. <sighs> Hurry it up. Woo! Damn, Grissom. You looking good. Get used to it, boys. After today, I'm gonna have a whole closet full of these. Let's go, Stewie. We don't be late for work. Tell your boys. They know the school. No, just tell them! I want you boys to be on your best behavior in front of the ladies. Got it? Look, Grissom, I ain't had no tail in 11 years. I gave this man my word. You don't want to make a liar out of me now, do you? Wouldn't dream of it. Savit? Whatever you say, lass. Stuart, I'll see you in a little while. Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to your little boy.
She's been in her room all morning. Told the manager to alert me to any calls, in or out. Call me if she makes a move. Will do. So where you been? I was expecting you last week. Uh, you know, I've been busy. Busting punks. <laughs> a good month, huh? Not bad. Just loving the fishing trip last weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah, wait till you see my new boat. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. I can't wait. Good money. Oh, please, she's redecorating again, goddammit. It's costing me a fortune. But you give her my best, huh? Yeah. I'll see you next week. What brings the federal boys out? They were watching this guy, thought this might be love. Well, straight robbery. Safe's already cleaned out. I guess that makes it my baby then. For now. What do you do? My secretary. I take it you don't want any interruptions. Susan, yeah, will you hold on my calls, please? No, I'm going to have to call him back. Thank you. Not bad, Hank. Not bad. You got a key to the executive washroom? No, you keep calling me Hank. You're going to blow this whole thing. Stewie, I don't want to soil your precious reputation. Now, access up account number JN346921. Where'd you get all these account numbers? I told you I got five. Now withdraw two million. Wire it to Grand Caymans, Banco Comercio Cayman Islands. Account number TG eight four nine nine eight. What? It's asking for an access code. TBKC 892. Transaction completed. That's it? Yeah. Okay, next one. I kinda like this white collar crime. KL 940. Two six. Stop it! Wait for me! Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Can you make him stop? I just like my scramble. Yeah, well, it's your fault. You should have made him stop. Get away from him. Remember what your boss said. You're meant to leave us alone. Well, when he's not here, I'm the boss. 
Yeah, but what about the plan? It's not part of the plan. What do you know about the plan? <laughs> He's gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be pissed. <laughs> Access code Marcus M A R K U S four. Down, yeah, Fred. This is Mr. Davis. It's with the FDIC. Oh, hi. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Fred Roberts, regional vice president. Is there um, any problem here, gentlemen? Certainly hope not. <laughs> now, just checking out a couple questionable transactions. Really? Nothing serious, though. Just routine. Well, that's good. Terrific. Good, good, good. Um, your lovely fiance asked me to drop this off for you. Honeymoon. Oh, his. thanks. Not mine. God forbid, right? His, his, his. <laughs> he hasn't been in for a few days, and you know, I'm going out of town, so I thought I'd just drop him off for you. She's, uh, had the flu. Who? She does not! <laughs> you big liar, you. See, look at you, trying to cover for her already. Now, she already, she told me a few days ago that she, she's gonna be, I'll uh, take a few sick days because her sister's in town. But, uh, so, I'm gone. It's been a pleasure meeting you, sir. Pleasure. Who was that? A friend. That's nice. Yeah, we can all go play golf sometimes. Little Red Riding Hood's on the move. Well, don't lose her. She's gonna lead us straight to Grandma's house. You got it, boss. Oh, Pastorelli. Yeah. Keep up the good work, huh? 10 4, Lieutenant. So how much longer are they going to be? I thought I told you to shut up. What's the matter, Dexter? Don't you like us? How come you're not chasing us around the room? The plan. It ain't part of the plan. Cindy, that's not very polite. Uh, what's not polite? Well, isn't it obvious? What? Dexter. He's obviously. You know. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. What do you mean? It's nothing to be ashamed of. Call me a sissy? Is that what you mean? You two shut up! I'm never gonna get away with this. You just let me worry about that. Access code KL94026. Withdraw 30,000. Why is this one so small? A little traveling gas. Where to? Prior to the amalgamated federal savings, account number 467-22555. It's my account. You got it. They'll trace it right back to me. That's right. Now do it.
next. Now it's time for a little cleanup. I want you to access the mainframe, delete all records of these transactions. And I suppose you have the security code for that. No, but I know you do. I figured I'd use yours this time. <laughs> Setting me up. That's your plan? It'll pass the time we need. Besides, you don't have to worry about that. It ain't part of the plan. We have to stick to the plan. Do you really think Grissom's gonna share his money with you just for keeping watch on us? I trust him. I wouldn't if I were you. Well, what would you know? We did time together. We were like brothers. Dexter, I have to go to the bathroom. Well, you can forget about it. Come on. I really have to go. Okay, you two go together. That way I can keep an eye on you. Keep the door open. Dexter, can't we have some privacy? It's not part of the plan. Dexter, I have to, you know, <laughs> do you really want to watch? No funny stuff. What are you going to do? I don't know. Surprise them. Look, when I give you the sign, you create a distraction. Hey! Hurry it up in there! Okay, okay! Look, when you see the opportunity, run for the front door. We'll split up outside, that way we'll confuse them. Good. Hey, hurry it up in there! Now, you just go in there and withdraw that 30 grand in cash. Small bills, of course. It's not gonna work. Left my checkbook at home. No problem. I got it right here. I told you, I thought of everything. Now remember, I smell any trouble, and those little ladies of yours are gonna be pushing up daisies.
You did good, Stewie. You did real good. Hey, Dexter. You, you know, I really like that tattoo of yours. <laughs> I did it myself. Really? Wow. You know, I've been thinking about getting one myself. What do you think? Here or here? You're one dumb shit, Dexter. What? The bitch was gonna fry your face, asshole. You've been a bad girl. Shoot her. Hey, it's Kristen. I think he's got the money. Gotta go. Without a hitch. Ten grand each. It's all there. All there? Yeah, all of it. It's Christmas time, boys! Woo! You all right? Yeah. Easiest pie, just like I said. Hey, you got your money. Now get the hell out of here. It ain't that easy, Stewie. He's right. I say we split. It ain't part of the plan. That's right. We wait for my old lady just like I said. Then you boys can go anywhere you please. What's she getting here? Come on, Chris. Some this place is giving me the creeps. In time. All in due time. Tracking Grissom's girlfriend. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about Hank Sims. Does he happen to live in Mayfield? God damn you, Pierce. That's where my partner was killed. I told you I already checked Sims out. I want his new ID now. Or do I have to slap you again? <laughs> you always were a pain in the ass, Kincaid. You know that? Okay. It's my old lady, boys. What do you mean? Sugar <laughs> Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> Wait, did you miss me? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> boys, this is Wendy. Wendy, the boys. Hey, come on, baby, let's just get out of here. I got this itch that needs scratching. You ain't been smoking on that shit, have you? No, I swear, baby, I ain't. You got the tickets? Yeah. First class, just like you said. Oh, baby, it's first class from here on out. Mm -hmm. Come on, Grissom, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> What's your hurry? Tie them up. You heard me, I said tie them up. I still owe Stewie four years of payback. Don't be stupid, Grissom. You got your money. You got what you want. Why don't you get the hell out of here while you still can? If I'd have wanted your advice, smart ass, I would have asked for it. Come on. Come on, Les, baby. I mean, maybe he's right. Come on, let's just beat it. I've been waiting four years for this. It's time for a little fun. Get away from me! <laughs> Yeah. Let's go so far. I see you in your word. Yeah, that's right. Scout Connor. Trouble is, I never was a scout. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't care what you do to me, but leave the girls out of it. They had nothing to do with this. I would. I think Sabbath's taking a liking to the blonde one over there, though. Yeah. I think she likes me too. Oh, yeah. She does. She does. <laughs> See? We got ourselves a party. Come on, baby, let's just get out of here. We got a couple of hours to kill. Plane don't leave for a little while. We don't want to be hanging around no airport. Stop it! Why don't you put something in her mouth to shut her up? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the house. And there's the girlfriend's car. See, I told you. All right, get your men in position. This is a federal case now. I'm in charge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try to remember that. Enough! Look, can't you make him stop? Still got a couple of years left. <laughs> Oh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> I gotta close the Come on, Sam, well, let's get out of here. You're right. This party's beat. Go warm up the car. I'll get us a bottle. Less. <laughs> 
we were thinking of taking off, if you don't mind. Hey, I love you, bro. <laughs> Me too. You got your share. Hey. Probably get a few extra bucks for that. Aren't you going to tell him about the Cayman Islands account? Caveman Islands? Boy's delirious. Thanks, sir. He's got millions stashed away in an account. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you take it easy, buddy, huh? You too, Les. Let's go, Savvy. I'll be right there. I'm stopping up. Somebody's coming out. Do you recognize him? Let's go, Savage! Hey, Liz! Got hostages inside. You think I don't know that, huh? You think I don't know that? Get the tear gas. No, not yet. We're gonna try and make contact. Oh yeah, first. yeah, yeah. Everything by the book up here. So. You got a problem with that? Give me a phone. What? Prism. Is that you, buddy? Well, if it ain't my old friend, Jack Kim K. <laughs> Long time, Lester. Four years. You still extorting money from two-bit bookies? Well, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, are you still mad at me for killing your friend, Nick Vento? You two had quite an arrangement. All right, let's cut the crap, Chris. Huh? You ready to give yourself up, or uh, should we do it the hard way again, huh? <laughs> No, well, I guess three innocent hostages in here. Oh, yeah? And how do we know that? <laughs> you don't. Care to call my bluff? I just want to see him. You'll see him when I see a armored car out front. It's going to take me to a Learjet you're going to arrange for me. Look, I'm not cutting any deals until I see those hostages. <sighs> Have it your way. Grissom? Grissom? Shit. Often? Well, knowing Grissom, if there are any hostages in there, they're dead by now. They killed Dexter! Fire! Holy f- 
fire. They stopped shooting. Kill them. I want you to know I never meant to put you in any danger. Still a please. <laughs> Listen. I know I have made some mistakes in my past. I thought that was all behind me. I am not like that anymore. So please forgive me. I do love you. I love you too, Stuart. No more secrets. I swear. Hey. I got a little secret of my own. Look out! Upstairs! Now! Hold on, Wendy. It's over. So upstairs. Do it! Wendy. Calm down. Everything's gonna be all right. Wendy! What the hell was that? Kiss your ass goodbye, Stevie. Kind of hoping that you might tell us that. What do you mean? Well, she and her sister haven't been seen since the night of the shooting. Is she all right? Do you have any knowledge about the missing eleven million dollars from several accounts at your bank? Yeah, Chris. I'm... He made me wire it into an offshore bank. We know that. 
but that particular account has since been closed out. So, what's that got to do with me? So, tell us where Gina is. Who's Gina? Gina Zimmerman. Also known as Sally Walters, also known as Miss Ryan. Your darling fiance. Don't play dumb. Hey, wait. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. She's been on our most wanted list for almost six years now. Fraud. Confidence games, mostly. Her and her sister have an outstanding warrants list a mile long, and we know that she masterminded this whole charade. Took her own sweet time about it, too. Worked for two years at the bank so that she would know the exact right account to hit. And then she recruited Christian while he was still in the penitentiary. Somehow got that information to him and still kept her identity secret. Played him like a puppet. She managed not to reveal her identity to him. I guess somebody had to take the fall. She disguised herself as the cleaning lady at the courthouse. Planted the gun and the key to the handcuffs so he can make his escape. No, no. This is not possible. If what you say is true, then she must have known all about me, and... Stuart Duncan, you have the right to remain silent. What are you talking about? I never told anyone. Come clean, Stunk. You had ties to both Chris and Kelly. Nobody's that stupid. We know you were in it from the beginning. You're kidding, right? Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney during questioning. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Free of children.